I think that this is like a super cool training method because people are starting to, A, you're getting a workout in. Do you have the cardio build up for this? Are you gonna be able to move fast enough? Plus people that like exercise, like fitness, mm -hmm. and like training are gonna love that. Yeah. What is fitness when you're training? Because yeah, it's cool. You can go into a gym and lift a bunch of big weight, right? And be big or lift heavy and big but that's not gonna do much of anything out here for you um, when you're having to deal with being agile and yeah. mobile, right? Mm -hmm. And understanding like your, the importance of core balance. I think it also is like good for people like me that, yeah, we go to the gym, we work out, we do exercise, but it looks a lot different out here. And it's like, wow, man, I really need to build my legs or I really need to work on my core, you know, my core muscles. Um, Cause that, that's really, you know, gonna play a role in real life scenarios. If I need to, you know, drag somebody to safety, you know, for maybe it's in a fire or almost anything, a burning car, you know, house fire. And when you are thinking about real life situations um, and you train like this, you're gonna be way more confident when you are in those types of situations. So yeah, I mean, you know, a regular Joe like myself, it's great for me, but definitely somebody who's in law enforcement, um, coming out here doing training like this with these bags, getting that mobility, agility, working on your core muscles uh, to be able to perform like this has to boost your confidence so that when that police officer does have to engage in a situation like that, he has more confidence that he can actually execute. Yeah. And like me being a mental health like nut, dude, it's all in, in my mind, it's mm -hmm. all in my head. Yep. Like if I can shoot well, it's in my head, it starts in my head. Am I confident in taking that shot? Am I confident in picking up that bag and carrying it over here? And so just committing to those things and executing them, repping them out, it starts to build my confidence so that, yeah, in a real situation, I'm confident I can get the job done. Yeah. And I can't imagine what it's like for actual law enforcement, but this is definitely something I would do if I was involved in, in law enforcement, yeah. for sure. I mean, it's definitely good to get your heart rate up. You know, because when you're in a in a real incident, and I've been in plenty, you know, you, the adrenaline dumps and everything else, they're no joke. Barely able to hold up your gun, you're exhausted, your, your legs are tired, and filling with lactic acid and all that. So as you go through each stage and you get more, you know, increasingly tired until you get to the end, fitness is really, really what's needed. I love doing the cool stuff, but fitness is really what's what's needed back into, into shooting. I pan tripped. <laughs> You're 100 percent gonna see that in the video. <laughs> there you go. Yep. <laughs> That's an easy access hole. <laughs>